Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing very well. My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot and this is a reading for Monday the 10th of July but obviously it's timeless, you know. Um, so panel number one is the red jasper, number two is the blue appetite and number three uh, is the pink rhodochrosite and I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. Okay, just move that out there right here. Move this little guy. I have pad number one, the red jasper. Okay, so you guys have, you got a big old stack of tarot cards. So you have distant thunder, clear the air, and you have show the world the real you. So this card always reminds me of the tower. So I feel like you might have a tower coming. Also when it says clear the air, it makes me think you know, of a conversation being had, like there's something that needs, you know, you need to have a conversation with someone or someone's coming in to clear the air with you. That's what that always makes me think of. You also have the Empress and you have the Strength card. See, again, the Strength card for me is about like a conversation that you're going to have with someone. It might be quite an intense conversation, just to warn you, it might be quite an intense conversation. Um, where like two people kind of lay their cards on the table and be like, okay, so this is where I was coming from. Where were you coming from? How do you want to move this forward or whatever it is, okay? Um, you also have, you have the King of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. I kind of want to put her down there like that. You also have, the Knight of Swords and the Moon. So I feel like whoever this person is, they're gonna show up kind of suddenly um, and you probably won't see them coming. Like with the Moon, you know, it might happen at night. Even you might get a text from this person at night or they might call you at night or something or like you might wake up and with, you know, wake up with a message from this person because the Knight of Swords can be quite impulsive. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, I'm just gonna do it. Like, screw it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it now while I have you know, the motivation, like, you know, while I'm in, while I'm in the mood kind of thing. Also with that card, show the world the real you. I feel like maybe this is someone, I don't know, it's like you both have maybe kind of had your guard up. So this is a very honest conversation. You know, this is the first time that both of you are sort of going to relax your guard and be like, okay, well, this is what I want. This is where I was coming from. This is what I was thinking. Okay, let's see what else you got here. Yeah, you have the Hierophant, because I was going to say you might be dealing with a Taurus here with the King of Pentacles and the Hierophant. So some of you might be dealing with a Taurus. You have three Taurus cards there. You also have, ooh, you also have the King and the Queen of Swords. So they could also be an air sign or they could have air in their chart. You have Gemini there, you have Libra. See, I feel like this is what it is with whoever this person is. And it doesn't have to be love. It can be friends or family or whatever. Um, I feel like you both have kind of been showing up in this King and Queen of Swords energy. Like both of you have maybe been hurt in, your, in the past or both of you, both of you are quite logical. You know, and um, maybe you kind of have your guard up with each other a little bit, but I feel like that's what's coming down. That's, you know, it, like there's going to be a, like an honest conversation here. You know, where the guard comes down and it's because I don't know, maybe you guys had a fight or something. I feel like maybe you had a fight. I feel like there's some like, I don't know, like a misunderstanding or a miscommunication or something like a fight, maybe that you, you need to clear the air about here. I feel like that's what's going to happen here, okay? Um, you have the Empress and you also have the Nine of Pentacles here. So this is someone like male or female, but um, they could be like a masculine energy, you know? But this is someone, I feel like, the, I don't know, King of Pentacles, they're, they're very slow moving, I would say, but very responsible. This is someone who sees your worth. I kind of feel like they're actually kind of protective of you. Like, you see how you have the Emperor? Sorry about the traffic. You have the Empress and the King of Pentacles. So it's, you see how the Empress like behind the King of Pentacles? So this is someone who, 
they, they want to protect you. It's that kind of energy where they want to protect you. Like the Empress is, you know, whether you're a male or a female, or this could be you feeling like this about someone else. Like they might, this might be someone that sees you like you would be a good mother, you know, or you're very maternal or you're very nurturing. Like you're very kind of, like the Empress is quite regal. Um, you know, someone, like it's someone that they kind of put you up on a pedestal a bit here and it is someone that like wants to protect you like the king of pentacles is you know the person they're very like grounded and responsible it's kind of you know the person that you know you can go to if you need help with something and they also see your worth here with the nine of pentacles so this is the thing i feel like you're very independent you know the nine of pentacles is someone very independent but they still want to look after you I feel like there's, you know, if this is a romantic situation, like with the Hierophant, there's marriage here or there's long-term commitment. This is like someone that would want to provide for you, even though they know you don't need it, you know, with the Nine of Pentacles. They know you don't need it. Um, but they, you see how he's holding that pentacle? It's like they want to give you the extra pentacles, so then you're in the Ten of Pentacles. This could also be someone that wants to uh, get you pregnant. So <laughs> just uh, throwing that out there or vice versa, you know, with the Empress there. Um, this person may already like be watching you because he's kind of got his eye on her and I kind of feel like you can feel the approaching conversation with this person so maybe that's why they call you at night time or something like when you're not expecting it you know what I mean <laughs> they're just like right I'm gonna do it at night time um, so that is your message pile number one. I would expect a very open and honest conversation with someone like when you are least expecting it. I hope you find the, uh, the reading useful and as always I wish you many blessings, love and light. Take care. Pile number two, you guys had the blue appetite. Okay, let's see. Ooh, you got infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. That's always a nice card. That's nice. So you have money coming in or like abundance. I should say you have surrender to the divine so maybe you're fighting this a little bit Ooh, you have nothing is yet set in stone and you have luck is on your side so this is about like money or feeling abundant there's something that they want you to do i have more cards but there's something that they want you to do um, maybe you're fighting it a little bit. I don't know why, but maybe you're fighting it a little bit. But um, They're saying you don't have to do it. Whatever this is, you don't have to. Like, I think that's what this message here is. Nothing is yet set in stone. Because, you know, even if it's something like with the surrender to the divine, it's kind of, they would really like you to do it. And it's definitely on your life path, blah, 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 blah. You don't have to do it, you know, we always have free will, but um, if this is something that you wanted to do, and I kind of feel like it's something you're already manifesting with the blue appetite. If you were to do this, whatever it is you're thinking of, and it's something to do with money, then it would be very abundant for you because, because it is something to do with your life purpose, you know, you would have luck on your side. They would help you with it, if you see what I mean. Like you would be getting a lot of, you know, help from spirit if you decided to do this. Um, also, you have the bow. I feel like you're getting ready to do something. But maybe you're hesitating. That's why nothing is yet set in stone because you're kind of dithering about whether or not you want to do it. Oh, okay. You have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is definitely, I would say this is to do with money. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles is a lot of money. That's like, um, you know, it depends what you're manifesting here because it's going to be different for everyone. But, um, you know, the Ten of Pentacles is a lot of money coming in. It's like being very stable, uh, signing a long-term contract, you know, um, getting a promotion, something where you were actually, you would be building a legacy. You have the Eight of Wands. So there's some kind of movement here. Um, this could also be about communication coming in, like someone's going to offer you a position or, um, you know, if it's something that you're trying to manifest yourself, for example, like a business, 
it means like there's going to be like a sudden surge of movement forward. Okay. You have, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like whatever this is, is, is on your path. That's why like if you chose to do this, you would get a lot of help from spirit but i think they're saying yeah because look you have the nine of swords here for some reason you're overthinking this and um i get ya i get where you're coming from i'm an overthinker myself <laughs> you know what though it doesn't do us any good right um i feel like this is something that you're overthinking and you're quite anxious about it you know, that's like the Nine of Swords is like overthinking, anxiety, kind of predicting the worst, like being a bit of a prophet of doom kind of thing. Like, oh, but what if I do this and it doesn't work? Oh my God. Or like, what if I take the job with more money and like I can't do it and they find out I'm a fraud? Oh my God. I feel like that's the only thing that's holding you back. Oh my God, look, the Ten of Cups. Well, okay, so whatever this is, it's actually going to make you very happy. It might involve working with other people, whatever this is, but I feel like you're kind of destined to have this. Um, you also have justice and you have the sun. So I feel like you got to make a decision about this and just go for it. That's kind of what I just picked up there because you have the justice card and you have the arrow behind it. So the justice card is about making a decision, you know, <clears throat> excuse me and with the sun as well it's about seeing things clearly because when we're overthinking and getting in our head about everything it muddles everything you know because you're you know when you're trying to do a task and instead of just doing it you kind of overthink it to the point where you no longer have any idea what you're doing and you get all confused so you just don't do anything right whereas if you don't overthink it and you just do something, then it's a lot easier. But I feel like because you're overthinking whatever this is, you're kind of not seeing things clearly, but I feel like you're about to. I feel like you're about to get some clarity here. Maybe Spirit's gonna give you a little push. Um, if you are an overthinker, you know, have a look on YouTube because there's like so many, you know, frequencies and stuff that, that you can use to stop yourself overthinking. Also grounding your energy using your root chakra. Uh, meditation, deep breathing, journaling, these are all really good for helping you stop overthinking because it shows you like the thoughts that are actually holding you back. So you can be like, oh, well, that's not real. I don't need to worry about that. You know, you know, this is a case of just going for it, I think, whatever it is, because I really think the only thing holding you back is your own, is you're just getting in your own way, you know, thinking that you can't do it. That's what's coming through. But I feel like that's going to um, pull the trigger, man. <laughs> that's what they said. Pull the trigger. Because you're going to wonder what you were ever worried about. Like once you start doing this and it's very lucrative. I don't know what this is you're doing, but it's very lucrative and it's going to make you very happy. Um, and it could be something to do with the community. For at least some of you, you know, with the Ten of Cups, maybe you're working with kids or... It's like working with, you know, the community or something like that. So yeah, go for it. That's your message pile too. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Do whatever you can to get yourself out of your head and go for it. Um, so I hope that was a useful reading pile too. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Um, pile number three. You have the pink rhodochrosite, so you guys have, eww, you have, sorry, I don't know what is wrong with me. You have expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. I really like that card. I don't know what it is about the colors, but that's just cool. Uh, this could be about love because you have the pink rhodochrosite, which is about love. You have rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present. And you have uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty. So there's some kind of change coming in and it's about clearing the past. Okay. Ooh, we have the four of wands. This could definitely be about love. Um, I feel like you're going to find yourself in a relationship pretty soon, pile three. Ooh. 
We have the Five of Swords in reverse. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the King of Wands. Someone's watching. You have the Six of Pentacles. Someone's going to offer you... I think this is someone from your past, okay? You may have been attracted to pile number one as well. I got a couple more cards here, but... Someone's going to come in. Could be a fire sign, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like someone doesn't want to fight anymore. See, with the Five of Swords in reverse, this may be someone where there was always a lot of one-upping or one of you was always trying to be in control or yeah like a lot of butting heads or something like that so maybe you walked away or maybe the other person walked away but I feel like they don't want to fight with you anymore and they may have been watching you with the king of wands because he's watching obviously but someone's going to come in and I feel I feel like it's I don't know if it's an apology, but it's something they want to clear the past to heal the present because I feel like this is someone that's going to offer you like commitment, right? I mean, maybe not right off the bat, you know, they might not come in and be like, marry me. But, you know, with the Ace of Pentacles, this is like, let's go for lunch. Let's go for dinner. Let me take you for a coffee. Let's talk kind of thing, like a peace offering, right? And the Six of Pentacles, this is about giving. So... This could be someone, I don't know, where you gave a lot in the past. It's like equal give and take now. I feel like that's what this will be, equal give and take. Um, the six of pentacles, this person could be your boss. They could be a customer where you work. Um, they could be a Libra. Could be someone that's they're kind of boss energy whoever they are like with the king of wands and the six of pentacles someone that's like in charge um motivational speaker leader alpha male alpha female this kind of thing usually very good looking very charming very good at speaking but a good person like with the six of pentacles someone very generous um, so you might get spoiled a little bit here as well, okay? <laughs> yeah, they really want to come in and balance this out with you and I feel like it's going to lead to a commitment, honestly. I feel like it's going to lead to a commitment and you have, ooh, look at that. Oh my god, okay, so there's like a lot of passion with this person or they're very attracted to you. But it's not just passion because you have the four of wands, so there's like passion and wanting to kind of settle down or like make this... A proper commitment you know what you mean um but you have the knight of wands with the the king of wands so i feel like maybe this person like because you also have uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty and you have the knight of wands and the king of wands so this could be someone who was maybe kind of in and out in the past or maybe you thought they were excuse me, like a bit of a player or something like that, or something like that. But they're returning as the king of wands. So like the same kind of energy, the same kind of like very charismatic, very bold, like um, charismatic, like leader energy, but like wanting to settle down, you know, with the king of wands. But it's like so much passion here, I think. I think you would have the best of both worlds with this person because you do have the passion. The Ace of, Ace of Pentacles is wanting to offer something solid and the Four of Wands is obviously like commitment, moving in together, marriage, this kind of thing. Um, with this Uncovering Treasure card, there's something about... It's not surface level. Maybe you always worried that it was surface level with this person because you have the Five of Swords and the Knight of Wands. You know, maybe you guys fought or you had like a back and forth thing going and like, com you know, combined with the Knight of Wands, maybe you thought this person wasn't serious or something. But actually, I think this person is a lot more serious about you than you thought, okay? With this uncovering treasure. Um, also like maybe you thought this person in the past was I don't know yeah 
yeah like i think that's it, maybe what it is like you, you just kind of thought this person maybe didn't want anything deep with you or anything you know solid with you and maybe that's why you left but you were wrong okay is what i would say or maybe in the past they didn't think they wanted anything serious with you as well that could be that as well but like since they've been away they've realized like they really missed you it could be that too um yeah this person's like at very deep I don't know maybe they come across as um they just want to have a good time that's what keeps coming through like maybe that's what they presented to you at the time that they just wanted to have a good time or something like that and maybe they did in the past but that's not the case anymore okay this person's a deep little mofo <laughs> okay so that's your message pile number three i hope you enjoyed it uh thank you so much for watching and as always i wish you many blessings love and light take care